I started this journey when one of my best friends in Nigeria told me to fill out the application for Miss International. My name is Estefania Fuentes del Razo. I'm Miss Mexico 2017. I thought that I was going to be able to do it, like I was not capable of that. I never believed in myself about like beauty stuff. Like a soccer player, I'm always running and sweating and just being with like guys, like playing all the time. I never dress up, I never wear makeup. The interview was was challenging because, well, first you're nervous and they are literally like looking at you and making you questions about everything. It was great meeting them, like for like quite a few of them, if not all of them, like when we met them, like when they walked in the through and they finished their interview, we were like, she's in, it's them, and this country is definitely in the pageant. Like the only people that make it through were five, I mean five countries. It was Jamaica, Haiti, Cayman Islands, Venezuela, and Mexico. Our first rehearsal was like three days after the cut from the interviews. It was a lot of time, it was a lot of hard work. I think that everything was a challenge for me. Every single thing was a challenge. Throughout the practices, there were just many days where I was just crying, but they'd like tell us to go on stage to practice, and I just didn't know what to do, and I got frustrated. Tell her what? Me is a born Jamaican, and I am pro. It was really challenging, really hard, and sometimes I bet that at least once we, we thought of quitting, of giving up. There were times where we were really tired, really stressed. I am taking five classes, an internship, a job. I didn't sleep well, I didn't eat well. I thought, you know, we're just gonna start, and it's just gonna be fine, but then there were tears, and then there was screaming, and then there was just a lot, and then, um, then I got sick. And then I had to deal with my sickness, and then I had classes that I had to deal with at the same time. So it was just like a lot was going on. One day, when I was feel, feeling really sick, we were doing my skit, and in one part, I needed to like to fake that I was like going to hit the ground, but what? <laughs> and the guy that was with me, he always like catch me. He was supposed to catch me every single time we rehearsed that. But we messed up, he wasn't on time, I wasn't on time, and I hit the, the ground with my, with my head. And it was really hard. Like the, the sound was really hard. And everybody was like really nervous, and they were like, hey, are you okay? I was like, yes, I thought I was fine, but I wasn't, like, at all. I started feeling really busy. Everything was hurting, my back, my head. I went to the doctor and they told me I had a minor concussion. I remember me so like I was really sick. She was in the hospital for several days. So that that specific time, that rehearsal was really tough for everybody. Because we were stressed, we were tired and I mean we survived, so it it is good now. When I stepped on the stage, I felt confident and empowered and ready to face anything that happened that night. Little by little, we just saw them grow and that was, I don't know, it just made me feel so good. I set my mind to like, to enjoy everything. Like, literally were like two and a half months of stressful moments for me not to enjoy the main thing. I really believed that that was my night and I was gonna have fun, and I was gonna like achieve all my goals, like feel confident, talk in front of a lot of people. And the most important thing, like believing, believing that I, I could do it. And I did. <laughs> Just waiting there in front of everybody, uh, you feel like really nervous, like everything is like shaking, and you are like breathing hard. Then they said, second runner up, Venezuela first runner-up, Jamaica, and we were just three left, Cameron Islands, Haiti, and me, Mexico. 
And then all the Jamaicans start cheering for me, cheering for Mexico. Shamara said, and Miss International 2017. Miss Mexico! And that night, in that moment, everything was perfect. I showed other people and I showed myself that I could do it, that anything I set my mind to, I could achieve it. And that night, I did it.